Gannon was showing you with the velocity signatures. You've got uh, winds going in one direction at 80 miles per hour. If it's not even hitting the ground necessarily, because we're we are looking at the radar beam at about 5,000 feet up in the sky, but uh, we've got so much wind energy today. This can be transferred very quickly down to the surface and create a damaging wind scenario, and that's why the main threat today is damaging winds. But as we've kept telling you, there is that threat for a possible tornado as we go through the day today. All so because of high pressure holding firm across the area, keeping us nice and dry dry and nice and mild over the next couple of days. What does high pressure do? Well, that causes sinking air, brings sunshine. So any storms that try to develop, they're squashed and we stay quiet all the way through this weekend across the region. We wake now. up tomorrow morning, head out for that morning run. It's going to feel a little stifling. It's going to be a warm, wet hug to get you started tomorrow morning with temperatures in the mid 70s. So it's going to be a muggy start and with a warm start tomorrow, we'll have a very hot finish. Notice temperatures by 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Not many clouds in the skies will be in the mid and upper 90s, but it will feel closer to 100 to 105 degrees. Uh, the velocity signature is now going to be lifting just to the north of uh, it looks like right now it's at the crux of those uh, three counties of uh, Robinson, Bladen and Cumberland County. So again, kind of crossing Highway 20 right here. Here's Highway 87. Tor Hill sits right here and the DuPont plant that I was just talking about sits right about here uh, just across the uh, railroad tracks when you cross over into Cumberland County. So again, this is lifting up to the north and east at about 45 to 50 miles per hour. This is going to be moving out towards the Stedman community and the Wade community as you head over into uh, Cumberland County. This looks like this is going to start to lift out of Bladen County, but I do not want to get you uh, your hopes up. You still need to be in a safe place if you live from Tar Hill and points to the north in Bladen County. I would say Tar Hill and White Oak points northward. You need to be in a safe place and be aware of the situation, but it does look like the storm is going to try to take a track more so into Cumberland County than maybe northeastern portions of Bladen County at this point, and it is starting to lift out of, uh, of Robinson County. So if you're in uh, Lumberton, you can we can give you the all clear if you live in Lumberton. A couple more minutes if you live over in uh, uh, over in the St. Paul's area, give it a couple more minutes before this thing lifts out of your area, but still that rotational couplet here. And this is actually looking from the Raleigh radar site at this point. So we're seeing uh, kind of a high level of, uh, of shear here, but uh, needless to say, there it is. Uh, your rotational couplet as it's moving up to the uh, north and towards the east at about 40 miles per hour. Again, let's put a storm track on this and give you an idea exactly where this is going to be heading uh, over the next 40 minutes or so. This will be moving up towards the Lena community, Stedman by about 1137. Hain as you head over into Sampson County at about 1141. So even if this is, uh, you know, if this holds together, we're talking northern Sampson County involved with this warning as well. So right now we're kind of focusing in on uh, Robinson, Bladen and Cumberland counties, but down the line, this could be an issue for northern Sampson County, not talking about down towards Ivanhoe. We're not talking about Harry. We're not talking about Garland even. Uh, this would stay north of this. So uh, again, we're kind of watching this very closely, but here's Tar Heel. There's your rotational couplet. Uh, the, uh, the, the Smith Mill packing plant sits right about here. This is Highway 20. That takes you back over towards, uh, towards the St. Paul's community over into uh, Robinson County. So again, there's your area that we're watching very closely. Moving up to the north and east, you need to take your tornado precautions now. This is meteorologist Patrick Ellis with your first alert weather. 943 on this Saturday morning, a live look from the New Earth Motors first alert sky cam from atop of the corner cafe in Elizabethtown, Bladen County on the board this morning. A couple, a couple of puffy cumulus clouds out there as we look down Highway 701 towards the Cape Fair River and maybe some folks heading out to White Lake today. Looking good today as you're heading out towards Bladen County communities up to about 90 degrees for far inland locations for Wilmington proper around 88 this afternoon. The sky's mostly sunny with a few pop up showers and storms possible after say two or three o'clock this afternoon with the sea breeze boundary moving on shore with the southwesterly breeze around 10 miles per hour. That southwesterly breeze a little different from where we've been the last couple of days. We've had some northerly breezes the last couple of days to keep us fairly dry, but with that southwesterly flow, it's going to bring in the moisture. So you look at the humidity model and it's up there as we go through not just today, but also going into tomorrow. And I think tomorrow you're really going to notice it because of the fact that our temperatures, our actual air temperatures will be quite high. But finally, we get a little dry air to sneak in here as we head towards Monday, but it doesn't stick for around for very long. The winds switch around again to the south and west and all of a sudden we're right back into the soup 
and I think even more so as we head through a good chunk of next week. So as we look at the hour by hour forecast, well, let's time out how we're going to get through the rest of today. Temperatures will continue to warm up. You notice by 11 o'clock already up into the lower and middle 80s in many spots by say three or four o'clock this afternoon. A few isolated pockets of showers not completely out of the question as the sea breeze moves on shore. Temperatures will be upper 80s to around 90 degrees, but it will feel closer to say 98, 99 degrees in a lot of spots. Any showers and storms that do develop this afternoon go to bed after sunset and we'll continue to go with clear skies through the overnight hours. When you wake up tomorrow morning, head out for that morning run. It's going to feel a little stifling. It's going to be a warm, wet hug to get you started tomorrow morning with temperatures in the mid 70s. So it's going to be a muggy start and with a warm start tomorrow, we'll have a very hot finish. Notice temperatures by 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Not many clouds in the sky. So we'll be in the mid and upper 90s, but it will feel closer to 100 to 105 degrees. So again, take your warm weather precautions tomorrow. Drink plenty of fluids, uh, wear sunscreen, and also wear light loose fitting clothing. Keep an eye on your pets as well. And if your kids are going to be outside for any length of time, also keep an eye out on them as well. Here's a look at where we go as we head through the overnight hours. I don't think we see very much in the way of rain shower activity for the afternoon hours tomorrow outside of maybe a stray shower. It's going to be the overnight hours is that front frontal battery approaches us that we could see a stray shower or storm trying to sneak in here say after midnight. Mostly clear skies tonight. Warm and muggy 74 the overnight low then for tomorrow we'll go for a high of 96 air temperature 96 inland areas 97 98 for actual air temperatures. But again, it will feel closer to 100 to 105 degrees and it wouldn't be surprising to see some of those bank thermometers actually showing those numbers tomorrow afternoon. 88 the high temperature on Monday and looking at some of the late data coming in this morning. We may actually have to bump that number down a little bit. We may end up being in the mid 80s on wind on Monday because of that cool front dropping southward back into the low 90s for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as our ridge of high pressure that is going to keep us quiet through the weekend and early next week starts to break down. The rain chances will increase as we head towards Wednesday and Thursday and Thursday is our first sounds of summer concert that starts at, at six o'clock down at Wrightsville Beach Park. And you may need a jacket if you do plan on heading down there to volunteer this morning. Here's a live look from our New Earth Motors First Alert Skycam. This one is from the battleship looking across the Cape Fear River towards the PPD building, downtown Wilmington there. Absolutely gorgeous this morning. Actually, somebody already on a boat heading down the Cape Fear River. So overall, looking like it's going to be a very nice day across the region. Temperature is warming up nicely into the 60s. Some of us Primarily the beaches will stay in the 50s today. Uh, only reason why is because we do have an east and southeasterly wind. So an onshore flow today that is going to keep our beach locations a little bit cooler. So you, as soon as you cross the bridges, maybe snows cut going across the ICW over towards Wrightsville, the temperature will drop a couple of degrees, but you head inland a couple of miles, sunshine and temperatures still out there in the 60s. So 63 are forecasted high for today. Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast. We'll take it forward through the next several hours. And then you know, I mean, hard charging off into the low 60s anywhere away from the beaches later on today, but again, the beach strand a little bit cooler. We're expecting 59 the high temperature today at Oak Island. So again, a little bit cooler as you head down to the beaches overnight tonight. Little weak system in the upper levels of the atmosphere will push through here. Maybe brings us a couple of clouds. No major issues. Temperatures tonight dropping into the upper 30s and lower 40s. Notice tomorrow a couple of clouds here and there. No major issues. Temperatures warming up nicely into the upper 60s, maybe nearing 70 in a couple of spots tomorrow afternoon. But again, with a southwesterly breeze, Coming off a of long bay, the south facing beaches will be cooler once again, likely only getting into the uh, low to mid 60s tomorrow afternoon for our beach locations, but inland areas upper 60s, maybe nearing 70. And again, a couple of clouds here and there as we head through the day tomorrow, all because of high pressure holding firm across the area, keeping us nice and dry and nice and mild over the next couple of days. What does high pressure do? Well, that causes sinking air, brings sunshine. So any storms that try to develop, they're squashed and we stay quiet all the way through this weekend across the region. Now, as high pressure starts to build off towards the east. We start to get a little bit of a word term flow coming out of the Atlantic. Also the Gulf of Mexico start to get a little bit more moisture in the atmosphere that will lead up to our next storm system that will be moving in here by the time we head towards Wednesday. And this is going to be a pretty expansive, very potent storm system coming out of the plain state. Still got to wait until this thing gets on shore, probably uh, this weekend going into tomorrow and into Monday before we really get a good idea of what this thing is going to unleash. But it does look like the potential for some severe weather across uh, the mid Mississippi Valley, the Tennessee River Valley and points down to the west over towards uh, the Arkalatex and also big time snows potential 
potentially across the northern plains and up towards the Great Lakes. This will be a rain system for us here in southeastern North Carolina, and I can't completely rule out maybe a couple of thunderstorms moving in here by the time we head towards Wednesday. But is it going to be an all-day rain on Wednesday? More than likely not, but there will be that point in time when that frontal boundary pushes through here that we get a couple of showers and even some storms possibly. Tonight, no issues across the area, mainly clear skies, milder than what we have for this morning. A lot of spots starting off in the 20s and 30s. We'll start off in the 30s and 40s tomorrow morning with light breeze and rain chances standing at a big old goose egg. As we head towards tomorrow, the goose egg stays there for the rain chance. The winds come out of the southwest at around 9 miles per hour. And again, our south facing beaches will stay a little bit cooler uh, during the afternoon hours tomorrow. East facing beaches, maybe middle 60s for highs for you guys, mostly to partly sunny skies, but overall warmer across the board for tomorrow. Again, 69 here in the Port City and some spots may try to tag 70 before the day is out. Here's a look at our forecast over the next couple of days up to 71 by Monday. We'll keep the 70s going into Tuesday, even into Wednesday with that frontal battery approaching us. Usually out ahead of these fronts, we get what we call compressional heating and that's going to boost up our temperature. So that may be a conservative number of 73 for the time being as that frontal battery approaches as uh, some of the computer modeling suggesting that we could be into the middle 670s on Wednesday. We'll see how that all plays out. Right now we just have plain old rain showers moving through here, but can't completely rule out maybe a gusty thunderstorm. After that frontal boundary moves through here, it may stall out just off of our coastline, keeps our weather a little bit unsettled. That's a change from last night's forecast package. We have more clouds and also the option for a few showers, so the temperature profiles looks to be about the same in the mid 50s on Thursday, lower 50s and upper 40s as we head towards Friday. Again today, not too bad across the area. Lots of sunshine in your forecast, seasonably warm. Again, 63 are forecasted high here in the Port City as well as Bladenboro and Penderley and again at Ocean Isle Beach. A little bit cooler for you guys with that south and easterly breeze coming in here around five miles per hour. Keep your temperatures a little bit cooler only in the upper 50s.